I'm Tom Kruger, president of Summit Laboratory in Grand Rapids and Hart, Michigan. Summit Laboratory specializes in providing facility inspections, pathogen detection, equipment sanitation validation, and HACCP and GMP program assistance and compliance review to the food processing and packaging industries. As an ISO 17025 accredited laboratory, our staff includes microbiologists, certified HACCP managers, SQF 2000 practitioners, and certified microbial investigators and consultants. Much of the work performed by Summit Laboratory is done on site at our customers' food processing and packaging facilities. And much of that work entails sanitation validation of our customers' food processing equipment, a process where we test the equipment surfaces for the presence of microbial pathogenic bacteria. Having performed thousands of these tests and hundreds of process equipment validations over the years, one thing has proven critically important to ensuring the success of swab test results, the success of inspections and validations, the reduction of sanitation costs and downtime, and the ongoing confidence of operators and plant management. The one essential element to have in place is process equipment that is able, from its commissioning, to control, even reduce, or eliminate the accumulation of biological hazards and the presence of physical hazards. To help clarify some critical distinctions between genuine sanitary equipment design and construction and that of force-fit general industry units, let's take a look at several application-specific compliance-ready equipment features that must be present to better qualify process equipment as sanitary. This sanitary bulk material tote discharger built by National Bulk Equipment will be our reference for optimal sanitary equipment design and construction. 